Okay, good afternoon, Mahesh. Good afternoon, everyone. So, let us discuss more about cloud computing. So, today I would like to discuss about uh, whether means the organization and the cloud computing means do uh, the, uh, in this particular uh, unit we are going to discuss about how an organization can best use of cloud computing. Okay. So whether we have to move towards the cloud computing or not, what type of problems we will come across, we will discuss in this particular chapter. See, cloud computing is not one size fit, fits all affairs. Means it is not same for all. So it is not same for all the applications. So because you know that as hardware and software are, uh, are not uh, actually same for all, okay, as a hardware and software are not same for all, you cannot uh, uh, um, use uh, cloud computing solution for all or all type of organization or all type of solutions. So there will be several pros and cons. Actually, there will be several issues regarding that uh, regarding cloud computing before we should decide whether we have to go for cloud computing or not. So when you can use cloud computing. So whether or not you should use cloud computing depend upon the number of factors. The first factor is the cost, cost to benefit ratio. So by definition of cloud computing, we already discussed in the previous classes that uh, what actually the cloud computing is, uh, uh, it is actually getting the services. It is uh, uh, nothing but getting the services online. So someone else is going to provide you uh, the services and you are going to access them via internet. So that is what is the definition which we have uh, used. It means we are going to access the application as utilities over the internet. There. So we are having some um, uh, utilities or we are having some software which is available online and we are going to use them. So cloud computing refers to manipulating and accessing the hardware and software resources remotely. So which are placed somewhere and you are going to access those resources. Now, uh, why actually uh, we are using the cloud computing here? Because to save the cost, to save the time, okay, to, uh, to increase accessibility. There's advantages uh, we have discussed later on. So as an organization, uh, if you want to move towards the cloud, the first thing which you need to consider is about the cost benefit ratio. So whether it is, uh, uh, if you are going towards cloud computing, whether it is beneficial to your organization or not, first you have to think about that. Then you need to think about the speed of the delivery. At what speed actually uh, the cloud is actually delivering the services to your organization is also one of the factors. And the third thing here is uh, uh, what, uh, how much capacity, how much capacity you will use, okay. Uh, how much capacity you are going to use if you are moving towards your cloud there. That is also another issue. The fourth issue is whether your data is regulated. So is your data is regulated or not, whether you can use uh, the cloud computing or not, or what type of regulations are actually uh, there on your data is also an another issue which you need to understand. And uh, uh, your organization's corporate and IT structure. So what type of structure, what type of IT structure, what type of corporate structure which you, are, which you have adopted in your organization also plays a vital role uh, to decide whether you have to go for cloud computing or not. So sometimes these are perfectly matches uh, the, the means, whatever the service provider is offering to you, they will be perfectly matching to all these things and you can easily move towards the cloud. And sometimes uh, they are not actually going to match that in that sense, you need to think whether you have to move towards the cloud or not. Next is, uh, uh, the th next point here is there are three different major uh, implementations of cloud. So three implementations of cloud, three major implementations of cloud. How organization are using the cloud computing is quite different from at a granular level there. So uh, when you go for towards the cloud computing, there are three very, very important major implementations. So how you're going to use in organization is also need to be considered. But users generally fall into, I mean, three categories here. The first is compute clouds. What is this compute clouds here? 
So these are uh, the clouds, these are the solution which allows you to highly accessible, inexpensive and on-demand computing resources that can run the code that are given here. Yeah. Means these machines are actually running the cloud, running the code, running your code on your behalf. Means uh, uh, you need to run a server, you need to run a machine and this particular uh, compute clouds are going to offer you uh, uh, offer you the resources which will run your application which will run your uh, run your code actually okay uh, there are three uh, uh, examples of cloud computers one is amazon ec2 El elastic compute cloud okay uh, we have uh, Google App Engine, and third one is the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing. So these are three major uh, organizations which are uh, offering you the compute cloud set. So these are more uh, compute or more flexible in the offerings and can be used for sundry purposes. But it simply depends upon the application that uh, uh, the user wants to access. With. So what type of application which you are going to access also depends here. Okay, so means uh, at a uh, uh, excuse me so uh, uh, it simply depends upon the application the user wants to access it means what type of application which you want to uh, run on the cloud it depends there so sometimes it will be uh, useful for you. You can simply go and use them. But uh, sometimes as your organization becomes bigger and bigger, uh, it is uh, somewhat difficult for you to run your applications, to run your programs here. See, you know, uh, today you're using online compilers. Today you're using online resources to run your programs there. That's what is this compute cloud. So someone else, you're just uh, logging in. Just you are uh, going, signing up, you are logging in, you are typing your code, you are giving the code to the uh, code there. It is being compiled online and it is been shown. Means you are running the application here. Okay, now at an individual level, it will be, looks very easy, it will be looks very beneficial to you. But at an organization level, as a, it is growing fast, means as it is bigger and bigger, larger organization might be a disadvantage because the application do not offer standard management, monitoring, governance capacities that the organizations are used to. Means generally, if some third parties are actually uh, going to run your cloud, you may not, uh, 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 what I mean to say here is, you may not get uh, all the things which are required for you. Means in in-house, uh, you may have some standards which you are maintaining, you are thoroughly monitoring it, you have uh, uh, the governing capabilities you can govern, you can look after there. Uh, uh, but at the same time, when it is someone else is offering there, you need not, I mean, it is not possible for you to uh, uh, force them to maintain some standards. Uh, it is somewhat difficult for you to monitor. organization, can you put it a manache that the man third party can put it a man code it chamo, man application in manu ranche man chepe si chamo, a cut same type of standards on tie, manam monitor jade and kiss scope on the unlearned manaki chetula leather. Okay, so that is what is somewhat difficulty which you may face there. Another very uh, important offering of the cloud is the storage there. Okay. So mostly uh, the cloud computing is popular for its storage because you are supposed to store your data. So there are a lot of lot of uh, uh, vendors out there which are offering you the cloud storage. The, uh, okay, you may just uh, dump your files on the cloud and you can access them anywhere there. But what is the major concern when you are saving your files, when you are dumping your files on the cloud, what will be the major concern? The major concern is the security and the cost. Okay. So how much your data is secured? How much your files, how much your information is secured? Okay, it is a very important issue. So this particular point we will be discussing in the coming chapters also. Of course, I can say at the end, to the end of the syllabus, even in the last class also, you may discuss about the security because the security is a very major concern in the cloud computing there. So it is a top issue and also the cost. So how much it is, a, a, actually uh, costing for you is it free or 
uh, is it uh, uh, expensive, how much expensive it is, how, how much cost you are going to incur on that. The third is about the cloud applications. So what uh, applications are offered by the cloud? Is those applications are suitable for you? Is those applications are actually offering you all the things which are required for you? See the difference between the compute cloud and cloud applications. So what is the difference between compute cloud and the cloud applications? Uh, you need to understand. In compute cloud, the hardware is actually provided to you. The hardware is provided to you. Uh, um, uh, uh, you are, uh, I mean, the machine is provided to, and you are just going to run the cloud. Uh, sorry, you are the, going to run the program. But whereas in case of the cloud application, already the programs, the applications are available for you, are simply just you are going to use those application via a browser. For example, uh, uh, think about your uh, uh, Google Docs. Okay, so what you can do, you can simply open the Google Docs, you can create a document, you can save the document, you can come back next day and again you can reopen it and again you can work on that document. Whether it may be a document or a spreadsheet or a presentation, you can work. So what is the advantage here? What is the advantage of Google Docs? Actually, if you want to work on a document, if you want to work on an application, uh, a presentation or a spreadsheet, what we actually learned earlier, we have to install Microsoft uh, Office or any other uh, 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 word processor which we need to install on your system and then we have to work. And today we need not install them if you are having an, uh, uh, if, you are, if you are having internet connection what you can do, you can simply uh, lo uh, log in uh, into your account, you can open that uh, uh, particular application and you can work there. So there are, uh, again, several companies which are offering these cloud solutions. We have uh, some of the uh, cloud applications here, peer-to-peer -peer com computing, for performing a peer-to-peer -peer computing, we have BitTorrent and Skype applications which are available for us. We have web applications like MySpace and YouTube, where you can dump your videos and you can uh, watch them. Okay, you have the software as services applications like Google Apps. We have Microsoft Online Services, Google Plus, Software Plus Services. So these are three major things which are available to you. So when you should not use the cloud computing. So just now we have seen that what type of services your cloud, major services your cloud is providing, cloud solution is providing. Now, when you shouldn't use your cloud computing, Okay, uh, when you should not uh, uh, appreciate or when you should not go for the cloud computing. The fact of the, the matter of fact is where the cloud computing may not be appropriate for any reason, ranging from the cost to hardware uh, requirements to simply not needing it at all. So sometimes uh, uh, we may not need it unnecessarily when it is not necessary, we should not in, in, uh, invest on that and we have to move on that. See in business, people uh, as a businessman, uh, 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 always the businessman will invest his money only when he's having some benefit. Otherwise, he won't be, uh, invest even a rupee in that way. Okay, so that's what is the reason when you should not go to the cloud, when it is not required or when the cost of the hardware is uh, if, uh, if you buy and maintain the software uh, by yourself, if it is less than the cost uh, of uh, uh, going for a cloud solution, going to a cloud vendor, then why we have to move to the cloud? Ante manam kono kuni manam ay maintain jis kuna puru takku karchla utundi manam byte ke lna puru ekko karcha utundi anna puru ka manam byte ke lal sena ostrove le zan. So andu kos manam ante we have to think about, we have to uh, think about whether we have to move to the cloud or not. Yeah. So first thing here, another uh, in this. Uh, uh, several issues if you need to discuss here some details some details in the sense i uh, see here one particular case is given i will discuss about the case later on okay but i will give you the overview of what I see there is some sensitive data is there so the sensitive data should not be accessed should not be allowed to access by someone like for example for example uh, our bank details are there, our bank account number, how much uh, amount we are having in our bank. These all details are actually pro available with the bank, right? So 
these details need not be given to anyone so nobody should be able to access our personal details see even uh, uh, at a smaller range if at all our phone number is a private so uh, uh, without without uh, our permission nobody ha uh, should give our phone number to someone else there without our permission we, we don't uh, sometimes appreciate we don't uh, sometimes accept uh, giving our phone number to someone else I, mean, I hope you will agree with this point. OK, so likewise, if some sensitive data is there, if you are putting it on the cloud, and if it has been compromised, then uh, uh, it is a, a very, uh, uh, what I can say, uh, dangerous of losing our personal information. So here, one example is given about uh, the Health Insurance Probability and Accounting Act. As per the U.S. Health Insurance Probability and Accounting Act, okay, they have some data. This sensitive information uh, of HIPPA data couldn't be mingled on a server with an another organization's data. Why likely to get attention of an observant uh, uh, HIPPA auditor? So here, what it is given here is uh, our uh, insurance information is there, our health information is there. See, in U.S., like countries like U.S you will have a social security number. And if you are having that social security number, if you provide the social security number, all the details, all the person's details, right, from ranging about our travels, right, from ranging about our address, right, uh, ranging about our bank account, our details, okay. Everything will be available, like our other card number there. See, uh, uh, to uh, see uh, one, uh, major problem with other card is actually today we are linking uh, our information everything with other so if other card number is given to someone they can get about how many uh, our bank details they can get, get about the details of our ration card they will get the details of our uh, welfare schemes which you are enjoying they will uh, we will have the details about what not Every, all details have been available See, you don't want to give those details to someone, but today when you're providing other card, when you are giving the other card number, then every detail is available. So such information is an sensitive information there. So if you are placing it on the cloud, okay, if you're placing it on the cloud, then what happens here is sometimes if it is accessed, then uh, in US, uh, countries like US, if the confidential data is not protected, see potential penalties if the confidential data is not protected, you can observe the table here. So for the directors and officers, okay, it is along some $1,000, uh, so $1 million will be 100, uh, okay, $1 million will be the fine and they will around have 20 years of prison there. And under the act of HIPPA to an institution, $50,000 to, okay, uh, $50,000 to $250,000 will be the punishment and around one to 10 years of, uh, so your data need not be compromised here. Okay, likewise, some legislative issues will also arise. What type of issues are regarding legislative issues? See, uh, an issue of concern of sensitive of private data is that there are laws and policies that allows government free access to the data. That's what uh, I, I was just mentioning here. Point. Legislative. Today, uh, we are forced, we are actually forced to provide our other card details. And because we are providing other card details, now the government, if they have the other card number, they can have freely access to all our uh, personal information today. They are having uh, access to our personal. And that should not be the case there because everything is placed on the cloud today. So if it is on the cloud, uh, see if your personal information today, your personal information on your laptop on or in on your desktop here. So nobody can access. I can't come to your system and access that personal information. But now when it is placed on the cloud, now uh, any uh, uh, any uh, anything uh, anybody who is having a legislative issue. So sometimes some policies we are not, we don't know. So some policies of the government we don't know. What the government can do here is the government can access that information. That is what is the problem. See, the same thing recently happened. So 
when facebook uh, changed their privacy policy many body uh, delete uh, many uh, people deleted their accounts uh, they objected uh, with their privacy policy there so what facebook actually said uh, earlier that uh, they uh, if you are pl placing anything on the facebook they said that they are the owners of the data and they can do whatever they want see you are placing your photographs you are placing your information on the facebook and now they are saying that it is their own information and uh, they can access that information then uh, uh, is uh, do you think that our data is secure there mahesh are you listening no sir yeah are you able to call in oh. yes sir yeah so that's what is the problem so in such cases also uh, in such legislative uh, uh, legislative cases we should not allow uh, we should not uh, go to the cloud we have to think about whether we have to move to the cloud or not another very very uh, 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 um, another important uh, issue whether to move towards the cloud or not is about geopolitical concerns there so geopolitical concerns in the sense of course uh, what is given here is about uh, giving the example of us and canada but i will give you um, my our own example see uh, when you are storing the data on the cloud yesterday i told you that the data will be distributed stored on the distributed servers the servers may be play uh, where may be residing around the world in uh, many places in such case what happens here is uh, say for in, for for instance for example if your data uh, uh, if your sensitive data which you are placing your data um, is placed on uh, the server which is residing in some other country some x country not in india or in some other x country it has been residing and according to their geopolitical issues there according to the country's privacy policies that country people that country there they can access their your data that is first issue another issue here is for example uh, think think about like that that now today our country and the tech country are friends but tomorrow if there is problem comes and uh, uh, that uh, friendship turns into an enmity now if suppose the ex country is regulating regulating the access of, of access to the servers which are placed in their country then you are going to lose your data are you do you understood this point or not yes sir understood, uh, understood huh? so that is another yeah that is another problem mama so that is about geopolitical issues so you have to think whether you need to place on uh, your data or not the next thing here is about the hardware dependency what type of hardware dependencies means what type of hardware uh, uh, chips drivers which you are going to use okay if if your uh, application requires a specific hardware chips or drivers a cloud solution might not be a good fit for your for you means if you want a specific computing uh, capabilities if you have uh, if you want specific hardware the chips and drivers here and you are the cloud solution provider uh, if your vendor is providing something else then also it is a problem you cannot uh, uh, compromise and you cannot go with that uh, particular uh, uh hardware uh, a particular devices if you have a special hardware needs the chances are low that the services provider may not precise the hardware you need he may not have it okay he may not have it in such cases it is also difficult for us to go and run your application on that uh, cloud there okay another thing here is server control now if your application demands complete control or everything that is running a cloud solution may not be right for you means if you want to have a complete control over it then also it is not possible because someone else so your data you are running the server you are running your application on someone else computer you are running your application in some other place there then how can you have the control over it okay that is an another one you need not if you need detailed control over the amount of memory cpu hard drive specifications or interfaces then cloud isn't an appropriate match for you because those are not in uh, uh, in your hand they are all been managed by the service provider if someone else is uh, actually managing it again it will be uh, difficult for you uh, uh, to actually handle those all things another point here is about the cost 
cost is one of the biggest class of cloud computing is the cost that is tends to be less expensive so uh, uh, means if it is uh, required uh, if you are having an infrastructure if you buy an infrastructure and if you are maintained by yourself and if it is of lesser cost than if you are going towards the cloud then you need not go for it okay it may cost means of course it may looks very uh, essential it may looks uh, 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 for some times it is okay but in the long run if it is getting uh, 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 costlier for you then why need why you need to go towards the cloud the cost and the way the cloud operates are moving uh, cost and the way cloud operates are moving target so some have suggested that cloud might be bring servers into client data centers there uh, no uh, someone is saying that the clouds might bring the servers to client data that may not happen that may happen or may not happen but whatever it is here is you need to think about the cost while moving towards the cloud and the next is the lack of need okay so if it is not required for you in the beginning of the class today i told you if it is not necessary for you okay if it is not necessary for you at all then it is a uh, waste to, for you to go towards uh, the cloud to go towards the cloud okay because unnecessary if you are going and investing for a passion or for, for showing towards the people then it is a waste of money for you so you need to think about that whether you have need to whether you have to go towards the cloud or not another thing here is integration with existing applications so if you want to integrate two applications so for example uh, you have one application which is running on site and the one is uh, running so here is a point so one is located at your place and one is located uh, uh, at some uh, on the cloud there then you it creates a problem with the security speed and reliability there okay so uh, see uh, for example for instance if you have two databases one with the sensitive data also locally and one with the non sensitive data on the cloud the chances that the sensitive data will find its way to the cloud are very good so though if you think that uh, uh, your you may say that the sensitive data is residing uh, at my place nobody is going to touch it and non sensitive data is on the cloud so uh, uh, you may think that uh, i am not in a problem at all no it is a uh, uh, uh a foolish thinking i can say that because there will be a security issue there will be a speed issue and a reliability issue also there because the speed is also a matter the security is also a matter there okay another thing here is about the latency concern since your data and applications are located on a series of servers geographically disparate from your site it is going to take some time for the data to reach you because it is far away from you it is residing somewhere see here in the di diagram one user is here and his data is residing on the servers which may be on geographically disparate locations there so one may be in one country and another may be in another country then it may take uh, some time for you to reach for you see and the time in the sense here it may be very less it may be minutes or or it may be it may it is not for days or hours there even minutes but if you require it data instantaneously means at an instant if you want to require then cloud might not be the best solution there అంటే వెంటనే కావాలి అన్నప్పుడు మనకి ఏంటంటే అది ఎక్కడో రిసైడ్ అయి ఉంటుంది లైక్ ఇప్పుడు నేను ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఈ రికార్డింగే ఉంది ఈ రికార్డింగ్ ఎక్కడ ఉంటుంది జనరల్గా నాకు గూగుల్ డ్రైవ్లో సేవ్ అవుతుంది సడన్లీ నేను యాక్సెస్ చేయాలన్నప్పుడు నేను మళ్ళీ ఇంటర్నెట్ కనెక్షన్ ఓపెన్ చేసుకుని గూగుల్ డ్రైవ్కి వెళ్ళి అక్కడ నుంచి నేను ఏంటంటే ఈ రికార్డింగ్ యాక్సెస్ చేయాల్సి వస్తుంది సో అదే ఆ డేటా అన్నది ఇప్పుడు రికార్డింగ్ అంతా కూడా నా సిస్టంలోనే ఉందనుకోండి నేను ఏం చేయొచ్చు డైరెక్ట్గా దాన్ని యాక్సెస్ చేయడానికి స్కోప్ ఉంటుందండి సో ఈ లై ఇక లైటెన్సీ కన్సర్న్స్ కూడా మనకుంటాయి అలాగే మనకి ఏంటంటే త్రూ ఫుడ్ డిమాండ్స్ ద నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ హియర్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ ద త్రూ ఫుడ్ డిమాండ్స్ దర్ సిస్ క్లౌడ్ కంప్యూటర్ ఇస్ జనరలీ బిల్డ్ ఇన్ ఎన్ యూటిలిటీ ఫార్మాట్ యూ పే ఫర్ వాట్ యూ యూస్ జనరలీ ఏంటంటే క్లౌడ్ కంప్యూటింగ్ ఈజ్ బిల్డ్ అకార్డింగ్ టు ద యూటిలిటీ ఫార్మాట్స్ మీన్స్ హౌ మచ్ యూఆర్ యూజింగ్ ఫర్ దట్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు పే ఫర్ దట్ సో త్రూ ఫుడ్ యూ నో ద అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ వర్క్ దాన్ ఇన్ యూనిట్ ఆఫ్ టైమ్ ఆర్ యూ కెన్ సే ఫర్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ వర్క్ విచ్ ఈస్ గివెన్ ఫర్ యూ uh for a uh, for a un- amount of money there in such cases the throughput also demands here uh, you pay for what you use the great and it seems fair until the deploy an application that use a lot of throughput and cost straight to raise that means it is having a lot of uh, throughput if it is requiring lot of uh, uh, what i can say um, computing capability 
So sometimes, for example, the, you may be charged for each byte of data. Means how much byte of data is incoming and outgoing, you may charge for that. And if your application is requiring huge amount of, uh, 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 if, you, if your application is carrying out huge amount of transactions, in such case also you will be billed more. Then also it will, means higher throughput is required there. So that is all actually uh, because of all these things. Uh, you need to think about whether you have to move towards the cloud or not. See, whatever we have discussed it, uh, today are generally all the negative things only. So after thinking, uh, di discussing all these negative things, you may be thinking, or uh, uh, somebody who has listened to it uh, may think, uh, why we have to cloud, go to the cloud when we are having such more uh, number of uh, concerns, number of problems are there. So don't uh, go in that way there, but what we are discussed here is we are also we are having such problems with us so we have to think about uh, whether to move or not whether what type of data to be moved then we can go for the cloud because see uh, knowingly or unknowingly today we are already cloud users you are also using and even i'm also using you no know, if i'm using google drive this particular as i just told you that uh, this particular recording will be stay, stored on the google drive and that that itself says that i'm using cloud computing okay so i'm using an application a google meet which is uh, i have not installed on my system but simply i i, I am just logging in uh, i'm just uh, clicking on my uh, going to my mail uh, i'm uh, creating a meeting and then i'm just starting the meeting here so what is that i'm using cloud so these are there are several benefits also regarding the cloud so what type of benefits we have where, uh, how the cloud is useful and what companies are offering uh, such uh, solutions. These all are being uh, discussed in the coming classes there. So we will discuss more about these things in the coming class. OK? So any doubt, Mahesh? No, sir. No, sir. OK. Thank you, Mahesh. Uh, I will uh, tell you the time most probably tomorrow afternoon itself. I will take another class. I will uh, okay, uh, inform you prior. OK? Take care, Mahesh. Okay. Bye.